This is a Magic Chef ice maker. And it no longer makes ice. So, what we're going to do is see why it doesn't make ice. So I got water in there. And it's... I'm going to tell it small eyes. I don't see the fan moving. So if the fan doesn't cool, um, it's, it won't cool the Peltier device. And that way, it won't make ice. On the back here, they actually have the circuitry of everything. That's nice. So when I get into it, I'll be able to see what the problem is. I'm guessing probably the fan's bad or they might have a fuse. It says add water, ice full. Okay, I'll add some more water. And the ice is not full. It indicates to me that there's something a foul. It's probably switch is bad or something. I have the unit unplugged. And there's a couple of screws I'm going to take here. All the Phillips, I'm going to take them off. And I'm not sure what that is. It's probably a drain plug or a filter. Probably a drain plug. Okay, so we're going to take all the Phillips off around the edge. We'll leave a little defeat on there. I'm just taking half of these screws off, and this will come loose here. So I'm going to start it in there, and I'm going to lift this up and set it up so I can see. All right, so here's the big cooling fan, the radiator, the pump, the circuit board up there. Oh, here's some switches. All right. See if you can hear this. Let's see this one. It doesn't click. Let me get the ohmmeter out. So with the ohmmeter, you want to put a meter lead here and here. And you should have that with an infinitive, and then you should have a short, which we'll see here in a second. Okay, so I have the meter lease now on the switch. It's reading 17 ohm, should be open. With switch closed, it's reading 0 ohm. Let's go to the other switch. Was it open? It's showing 10k to close. It's not going the best, it's doing 20 on. So that tells me that switch is bad. So I removed the two switch, the uh, two screws. I disconnected this here and just press this in and you kind of just pull it out. And you're gonna need a soldering iron. You can buy one from Walmart for like five bucks. And these switches here, you can get on Amazon um, I got a 20-pack for like $13. I could put the information in the link below. And I'll show you how to change this. So here's the switch. If you want to look that up, KW4-32-3. I think that should be what it is. It came from Amazon. Or you might be able to look up the X002 CDJLBN. 
comes with 20 of them. $13 for all 20 of them. These actually work. So, you're gonna need a soldering iron. You can buy a soldering iron from Walmart for like five bucks at the uh, automotive section, I believe. And I'm trying to create some room here so you can see. There's the switch. Somebody was taking it apart and was playing with it to see. So when I was activating it, it was still stayed sorted in either direction. Okay, so what you need to do is take and heat up a wire here and pull it out and then solder that onto the next switch. And then repeat, repeat process. So you don't have any uh, cross wires or anything. I know blue and purple should not be a problem with you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and do both at the same time because I'm not really concerned for myself. Um, kind of want to add some solder to that. Not hard to do, folks. And then we're going to put the purple wire in. Just like that. And pretty much just you're done at this point. Unless you want to take and replace this, the other switch, by all means, go ahead. I'm going to put the screw back in. And then we're going to take and turn it on and put water in it. Show that it works. Okay, so everything's plugged back in. I'm turn the power on. I'm making, let's do small ice cubes. I wonder if I can sit here and watch it. I might. Ooh. Awesome. Just feeling the water up. And then it should get cold. I can see some ice in the back there right now. Back there. You just can't see it. There's a lot of water coming down here. Now it's got a pump going. Now it's getting probably cold. Coming up to eight minutes here. And in eight minutes, <laughs> this is too cool. Wow. And then it heats it and they slide off. Come on. And then this thing scoops it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Awesome. And then it repeats process. That is awesome. I always wanted to see how this works in person. Wow. So there you go, guys. Hope this helped you out. I'll see you next time. Link in the 
description below.